Hey y'all, this is permaculture garden update number five. It's the fifth week. Pretty excited. We got the uh, fence finished and this super awesome gate in yesterday. Those silly wallabies can't get in and eat all my trees anymore. I planted, we planted, uh, I don't know, about 150 of these uh, air root plants. They, uh, they're an edible plant. They have a, a bulb to them. Uh, it tastes kind of like water chestnut, uh, but they make a great mulch too. Uh, these things grow to about two meters high. Looks like a, a banana plant. And cut these things right down to the ground and uh, throw them on the garden. No, it just makes a great mulch, great edible mulch. I mean, uh, if you ever ran out of food, you could dig all these things out of the ground and eat them. It's wonderful. Yeah, give you guys a quick tour of the, the garden beds again this week. Things are coming along nicely after the rain. Have uh, my nice little row of lemongrass here. There's another mulch that will chop and drop shortly. If you can see this silly little camera, I've planted it as a border along the whole uh, garden bed. It's going to stop the uh, nutgrass from creeping in. We get this grass here grows along the, the edge and eventually we'll have like a nice mix of border like almost like a rock wall kind of thing that can't get th through the roots what else can I show you yeah gardens doing really nicely after the rain um, a bit of the nitrogen from the uh, manure we've been putting on has been making it into the plant so things look a lot greener I'm still waiting uh, for our worm farm population to go up a bit before we throw uh, more in here. Um, but they're ultimately uh, what's going to till the soil. I like to uh, deep mulch. I know I always say this, but you know, you have six inches, 15 centimeters of mulch. I mean, it was like 37 degrees yesterday. It's still wet down here. It's still still fairly soft I mean you could dig in that in your with your hand if you had to uh, I mean this was this was just dirt it was was this five weeks ago so you know mulch is just so important protects the life under the soil keeps the sun off it keeps the water in the ground look at that tomato jeez oh, that thing was you couldn't even see that thing last week I swear I love Australia, just things grow so fast. Let's can we show you. A little cucumber, I believe. Another one. Yeah, some of these lemongrass are looking great. I love it. Their the roots are in the ground. Growing nicely. Make a great mulch soon. Got some nasturtium. That's a great ground cover too. I hope you guys can see this stuff on my phone. I never know, but give it a go anyway another pepper plant there oh. yeah. not too bad it's uh, coming into fall so we're gonna plant um, what you guys would plant as summer crops in North America pretty soon so get the winter vegetables in the ground soon I'll just quickly show you this row. This is my favorite part of the garden right here. All these onions. Got some comfrey there. <clears throat> this is another chop and drop. You just cut the leaves and throw it on the ground. Wonderful mulch. It's got a giant tap root. You'll never kill the thing. You can cut it down as many times as you want. <clears throat> Here's the pepper plant I keep showing you guys in each video. We've got. I don't know, it's got probably six or seven peppers on it. Very cool. A little basil struggling to, uh, to live. He needs a little more nitrogen, but he'll make it. Some more tomatoes. Yeah, guys, what else can I say? Get out and uh, start growing. It's heaps of fun. All right, that's it for this week. We'll show you what it looks like next week. Later.